Hi Fox, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to some more TC 2019 and of course we're going to be playing today is TPC Louisiana and this is by Tano Palo. So before we get started, again I'd just like to say hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's doing well, family's doing well, hope you're doing your bit for your social distancing and your self-isolation if you're feeling a bit rough. <laughs> I mean I haven't been out for about over a week now I think. So let's put this on at the gold tees at 7,406 yards. The fairways are normal, the greens are normal, the green speed is medium fast. We'll keep it on pin set number one. Now let's get going. Now, TPC Louisiana, there's a couple of versions out there. Uh, this version I'm playing, as you see at the top there, TPC Louisiana 2020. Now, the first one that he published had a mistake on the 12th green or something like that. So he's actually republished it with TPC Louisiana 2020. Now there's a tour version out there as well. And if you want to play the tour version with the grandstands and the crowds and things like that, the one you want to be playing is TP, TPC Louisiana tour, but it's got fixed at the, the end of it. Because again, what happened when he published it, I think it was the, the second green was pin was over at green number six or something like that. So he actually republished that as well, the tour version, and that is called TPC Louisiana Tour Fixed. So if you want to play, <coughs> again, with the grandstands and stuff, that's the one you want to play. So let's just turn around and have a look at the clubhouse, which go down here. This looks like a big sort of driving range. Nice little sort of pitch and putt area as well. Nice looking driving range. So we'll head over here. Again, another little sort of practice green there. And a big practice green just to the side of the clubhouse. Looks like you've got another one just there at the front of the clubhouse. Nice looking clubhouse though. He's done a good job with this. Very nice looking. Okay, so he's got a little bit of a write up here, so I'll actually read that out as I'm going around the course. TPC Louisiana is back for TGC 2019. The course has been completely remade from my original TGC 2 release and is now a lot more accurate and close to nature. In 2019, the course went through a renovation where many of the fairways were changed a bit. Many of them are now narrower and shorter, so I made those changes to this release. They also raised some ground around the key areas of the course for the spectators. I'm flying blind here because I'm looking at my second screen while floating around here. <laughs> for the spectators. And that has been implemented in the design as well. The course is designed by Pete Dye, Steve Elkington and Kelly Gibson. And is mainly known for hosting the annual Zurich Classic of New Orleans Tournament of the PGA Tour. Now I did look that up and that was supposed to be penciled in for... April 23rd, so next month, but again, uh, with this crap that's happened all around the world, that has actually been cancelled. Everything has actually been cancelled all the way through to... Where's my mouse cursor? All the way through to the AT&T Byron Nelson. And that is on May the 7th to May the 10th. May the 14th to May the 17th is PGA Championship. That's got postponed next to it. But I think it's going to go on longer than that, to be honest. Because that's only, what, two months away. I think this is going to last a lot longer than that. Okay, it's a very nice looking course. I can't remember if I played this on um, TGC2. I'd imagine I would have. It's a very good designer, Paolo. It's a very nice looking course. Let's go up and have a look at the plot and the blimp. Yeah, very nice. It's got some good feedback on it as well. A few of the people said it's very, very accurate. Now, even though I think he did this on PC, this is not a LiDAR version. He's done it the old fashioned way with like Google Earth maps and videos and pictures and things like that of the course. So it probably took him quite a while to do this. Very nice looking course. Nice big sort of waste bunkers and that. And I love the color of this sort of, it's either the pine needles or the mulch. Some nice plant around the, the water edges as well. So let's head back up this way. Looks like you've got like a canal going all the way up this left hand side. 
Yeah, looking forward to playing this. So let's head back down. This must be the 18th here. Nice looking finishing hole, this one. Very nice. Yep, 18th. So the first tee must be over. There I am over that. So we'll head back down towards the first tee. Nice big sort of car park area as well. It's got actually two car park areas there. And let's head down here and get started. Yeah, it's got a good, it's a good driving range that. Okay. Let us put the HUD back on. Oh, wrong one. This button, that's the one I want. Okay, let me just remove my mouse cursor. I just can't see it, but it annoys me because on our OBS you've got a setting that um, when you record it doesn't show your mouse cursor. Okay, hole one, 399 yards, par four, stroke index seven. I'm going to aim right down this left hand side and let the wind just sort of bring it back in for us. Ooh, and I pulled that quite a bit to the left, but that wind should be strong enough to bring it back in. Yeah, talking about this crap. <laughs> Seen it on the news today, Boris Johnson actually has caught it as well. Uh, the health secretary's caught it as well. And the health minister. What a bloody... It's ridiculous. Okay, what we got here? 108 yards with the sand wedge, 107. So let's put a little bit of loft on that. Eight mile an hour wind coming in from the left. Oh, we hit so fast. So that's going to bring it over to the left. Bloody hell, that has well missed the marker. Okay, what have we got here? Right, 166. There's the green speed, which isn't too bad. This shouldn't turn much at all. Oh, it didn't as well. Bloody hell. Imagine missing that. <laughs> that should have been a birdie. Mind you, that approach shot was terrible. It really was. Yeah, I mean, I've been... This is, what, Thursday now? Coming on to Friday. I don't think I've been out since last Thursday. I've been I've been home for like over a week. What a beautiful looking hole this one. Okay, hole two, 549 yards, par five, stroke index 17. Yeah, it must be hard doing this um, the old fashioned way with the amount of lighter courses that actually get sort of thrown out these days. And I think Palo was on actually, actually PC as well. Decided to do it the old-fashioned way instead of using the LiDAR. Okay, we've got 11 mile an hour coming in from the left-hand side. 12 now, so we're going to aim right down this left-hand side. That's a bit better. I seem to be still pulling it over to the left, though. Okay, nice big drive. 308 yards. Now, can we reach the green in two? 268. Oh, I think we can. Nice. So we're going to aim way over to this sort of left-hand side here. Let the wind just sort of bring it back into the green for us. That should do it, I think. Oh, crap. Hit another fast. Now, is that going to reach the green? I don't know. Well, it did reach the green. Is it going to kick off? Oh, that is not bad, actually. That sort of fed it round towards the hole. Gonna leave us quite a long putt though. We're on there for two. 20 feet on one inch up. Okay, starts off left to right. It's got a little bit of a right to left when it gets down there though. Nah. So we're gonna we'll take the birdie. Okay, so that's a birdie. Oh, I should have had that though. That's a birdie and an eagle I should have had, I reckon. Okay, hole three, 221 yards, par three, stroke index five. Another nice looking hole. This is a great looking course. Love the planting all the way sort of around the, the waterway there. Okay, you've got plenty of room on the screen to play with. Six mile an hour, the wind is coming from the left, 239. 
226 with a 5 wood. That should do, you know. I've got to put a little bit of loft on it. Okay, that's actually better. That's tracking well. Depends if it's going to run all the way up, though. Come on. Get up. Oh, that is not bad at all. Okay, 14 feet, 2 inches up. And we pick up another birdie. K hole 4, 483 yards, par 4, stroke index 9. Nice lighting here as well. You saw that sort of misty, hazy look off in the distance. Nice big sort of waste bunker there going all the way up the side of the fairway. That wind is just peaking up at 10 mile an hour. That should be good. Wind will turn it just a little bit round to the right, but it should be okay. Absolutely fantastic. Right in the middle. Nice big drive as well. 322 yards. Okay, 170. 172. Let's go down to the 160. We'll go down with the 8 iron. Put a little bit of loft on as well. Again, pull that over to the left. But that is going to be fine. That'll do lovely. Set us up for another birdie putt. <clears throat> okay, doing pretty well. Hole 5, 438 yards, par 4, stroke index 11. Again, nice bunker work up this left hand side. That's a great looking course. Now, as I said, I was going to play this uh, for the actual PGA tournament when it came out, which was April 23rd, I think it was. Yeah, April 23rd to 26th. What I might do, I might actually just do it anyway. I might play the tour version there when you've got the grandstands and the crowds. Just see what it looks like different from the, the normal version. Okay, 145. We've got 148 with the 9-iron. So put a little bit of loft on that. Again, I'm pushing, uh, pulling everyone left. And that just went a little bit further than I thought it would. That's going to leave us quite a tricky putt. Okay, this should not turn too much at all. Oh, I even underhit it. That was pretty bad. So that is going to be a part. K06, 476 yards, par 4, stroke index 3. So it looks like the waypoint is going right through the trees here. So it looks like we're going all the way around this sort of river. Or should I say little, little lake, big pond. <laughs> so we're going to aim down this direction. So another nice looking hole, the way it just sort of follows the water all the way around. That's a better drive. Just under 290, so 285 yards. 209 to the pin. And I've got two oh. 211, 226, that might be too much. 211 might not be enough, so I'm going to have to down loft this, I think. Now, is that going to make the green? Oh, just short and it kicked off to the left there. So that's going to leave us a little chip up. Yeah, I think if I went with the... Um, 
I think it was a two wood, so it would have been just a little bit too much there. Let's drop this down to the 10. I just want to get it right up on the edge of the green there and just let it run down. Okay, the stop. <laughs> That's not too bad. What? That looked like it went right over the top of the bloody hole there. What the hell? So that's a bogey. That should have been in. Bloody cup physics, the crap. K ho 7, 561 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. Okay, so it looks like we come up to the edge of this bunker here. It takes a little turn around to the right. Okay, the wind's up to 11 miles an hour now, coming off the right hand side. We're going to aim down towards the bunkers here and just let the wind bring it back in. Oh, we hit so fast. Damn. I'm kind of hoping I move that quite enough to the right. Oh, that's fine. Not a bad drive. 316 yards. Two sixty eight to the pin. Now we should get this with a 253 with two wood. That's looking good. Might be a little bit right of the pin now. Oh, there's a big bump there. Oh, that killed it. So we're still on for two though. Big putt though. So we'll just sort of lag this up and probably pick up the birdie out. If it drops then that's a bonus okay 47 feet one inch up everything's going right to left oh not that much though bloody hell oh i overhit that damn didn't have to give that a smack don't even know if we get the birdie here knocked out past 15 feet wow Uh oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, we just got the birdie. Made that a lot harder than it should have been. Another great looking hole. Love all the planting down this right hand side here. K hole 8, 372 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. At least we'll be able to hit right over the top of these trees. That should be fine now, let the wind just draw back in for us. That's me overcompensating now, started pushing to the right now. When I start pushing and pulling, I rotate my controller just a little touch. Okay, 86. Let's go down to the 81, that should do as I reckon. Put a little tiny bit of loft on it as well. Yeah, I think that slope moved that quite a bit over to the left. The wind wouldn't have affected it much. But we get the birdie. Okay, hole 9, 207 yards, part 3, stroke index 1, another great looking hole. Okay, 212. Right, we are going to go down to the 5 iron here. It looks pretty flat, so it's not going to hit on any sort of up, sort of hill line, stop it. Might just put a little tiny bit of down loft on it though. I think that should be enough. If it reaches the green, hopefully. It's turned nice. Oh, crap. A little bit short. 
<laughs> so that's going to leave us a little chip up. I might even actually go down to the, the sand wedge here. No, I'll go with the, the gap wedge. Yeah, that'll do. Hopefully we'll pick up the birdie. Uh, par, sorry. Okay, nine feet, one inch down. Okay, we've got the par. Again, nice light in there. Okay, so that's the end of the front nine. Not bad. Minus four with the bogey. Hole 10, 391 yards. Par four stroke index 10. Again, nice bunker work all the way up this right hand side. Looks like the fairway sort of thins right down there. You see them two tiny little bunkers and then that big massive one on the left. That should be okay. We should get through there okay. Nice drive. Playing a lot of um, State of Decay 2 at the moment. The uh, Juggernaut Edition just sort of got released last week, the week before. That's yeah, pretty good. They've done a pretty good job on it from what it was when I first played it. Okay, 73. We'll go down to the 68. And a tiny bit of loft on that as well. Oh, no. It's a fast. Damn it. We're still there for the birdie putt though, hopefully. Oh, I was actually leaning a little bit too forward there. I hope my... Uh, let me just line this up first. Yeah, I was leaning a little bit too forward there, so I hope the commentary is okay. <laughs> I was leaning right into the mic. Might have even been past it a little bit. Okay, hole 11, 576 yards, par 5, stroke index 18. Again, beautiful view off the tee, lovely big bunker work all the way up again, this left hand side. What a great looking course. Oh, that wind's coming in from the left. I was kind of hoping it'd get behind us a bit because you've got a good angle into that green down there. Look at that. So we're going to aim down this left-hand side and again, just let the wind drag it back in for us. Oh, but we hit it fast. It's not too far off the mark, so it shouldn't pull it too far to the left. I think that wind's going to... Yeah, that wind's fine. Just over 300 yards. Oh, can we reach the green in two, though? Oh, no. So I'm actually going to pull this back to about here and leave ourselves with a full pitch in. Doesn't really matter if it's a tree as long as it doesn't go behind the tree. <coughs> Excuse me. That should do. That should leave us with a full pitch in. 82. We've got 81 with a 9 iron. We'll put some loft on it. 82. Yeah, we'll just go with the pitch. And that should set us up for a nice little birdie putt. Oh, oh I thought I'd missed that. <laughs> KO 12, 492 yards, par 4, stroke index 6. I'll have a little drink of my coffee while he's uh, watching the flyby. Yeah, it's a shame just looking at the, the PGA Tour at the moment, the, the amount that's been cancelled. Augusta National as well, wow. I'll probably still do a, a Masters playthrough. Because the CLV actually republished um, Magnolia National. As you know, <clears throat> HB asterisked all the names out for the Masters, Magnolia, 
Augusta, anything like that. Anything to do with the Masters or Augusta, the asterisk all the names out. But they're actually still there, you can still play them. And I think the CLV, he actually republished his and called it Firethorn. Okay, 206. We've got 211 with the 5 hybrid. That should be okay, actually. Shit, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that was going to hit a fast step for some reason. I actually felt it in the swing. Oh, that's just... Oh, it caught a little bump that. It's actually ran on quite a bit as well. Okay, 23 feet, 1 inch up. Oh, 21 feet, should I say. 1 inch up. Oh, I haven't hit that. Needed a bit more. If I hit that a little bit more pace, it would have took some of that break out. Okay, hole 13, 377 yards. Par 4, stroke index 14. There's a new MMO coming out next month as well. I'm getting I'm in the, the closed beta for that. The new world from Amazon. I haven't played a decent MMO in ages. So we hit a fast start. I didn't do my little practice swing, but it should be okay. There's plenty of room on that fairway. Nice big drive, 313 yards. That's going to leave us a little pitch into the green here. 69, we've got 68 with the gap wedge, so we're going to put some loft on it. Get the perfect, perfect. Come on, hold up. Yeah, I really hope, do hope when, if they do another game that they really sort out the physics. Okay, 11 feet, 2 inches down. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, I moved that way too too much to the left there. I even hit it soft just to try and... I don't know why I did it. I, hit, I actually hit that putt soft just to try and take a lot more of the break instead of just moving it a little bit more to the right. Okay, hole 14, 216 yards, par 3, stroke index 2. Pretty straightforward with this one. Nice big bunker that. Okay, 225. We're going to have to go with 211. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, especially here fast. That is going to leave one hell of a putt. There's some big greens on this course. Oh, that is going to be a nasty putt. Wow. So it looks like I've got a little bit of left to right then everyone's going right to left there. And let's have a look up here. So left to right there as well. So I think most of everything's going left to right. I don't think it's going to go much. I'm not judging these long putts well at all. Oh, I actually putted that off the green. Bloody hell. <laughs> not good. All right, I'm going to putt this. What have we got? 24 feet, one inch down. Oh, no, it's going to be another bogey. Nice little lag putt there, though. That <laughs> putt was terrible. K-hole 15, 490 yards, par 4, stroke index 8. Again, I love these um, big bunkers that goes all the way down the sides of the fairways. Really nice course. That's better. That's much better. Right in the middle of that top marker. Well, almost. Nice big drive. Just over 300 yards. 3T. 
10 nearly. Which is 190, almost 192 to the pin. We're going to go in here with a 6 iron. A little bit of down loft on it. Oh, that wind's not bringing it round enough. Wow, look how much that rose on. I think the, the green must be pretty firm. Because the speed ain't too bad. Okay, we've got here 19 feet, one inch up. Nice. Nice little birdie. K hole 16, 355 yards, par four, stroke index 12. Okay, the water might come into play here. The way the fairway is just sort of turning around. Another great looking hole. Uh, we should be good to just smack one right down there. Yeah, that's better. I'm swinging a bit better now. I get the start of the round, I was pulling everything. Oh, seriously, pushing all my shots to the left. But a little, as I said, a little rotation of the controller sort of helps out. 71 yards with the pitch. Let's go down to the 68. And a little bit of loft. Oh, we hit so bloody fast again. Oh, that worked out okay, though. That should set us up for a birdie. And get it. K hole 17, 215 yards, par 3, stroke index 4. Right over the water here. Again, lovely plant all the way around the water. Got those big sort of long bull rushes. I think that's what they're called. Okay, pin sort of central, but to the back. Uh, 253 with a 2, that should be good, you know. <clears throat> that wind is going to slow it right down. Okay. That's not too bad with the 2, even though it might hit the fringe. No, it's just, just held on. So it's going to leave us quite a lengthy putt. Okay, 28 feet, 4 inches up. Let's try not to smack this one all the way past. Oh, I am overhitting these a little bit. That's not too bad. That would give us a par. Let me get the par. K O 18. Par 5, 586 yards, stroke index 16. Okay, you got this water all the way down the right hand side. And again, you've got that massive bunker going all the way up the right hand side of the fairway. Got a couple of bunkers on that left hand side as well. What a cracking finishing hole. Oh, that wind's going to help us out a little bit here as well. Oh, I hit big fast. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. And I pushed that way over to the left. And big fast. We wouldn't have reached the green two anyway, I don't think. We might have, because that probably would have ran quite a bit. Oh, pitching wedge. Don't want that. Let's knock this down a little bit. Let's get down to the six iron. That should do us. Hopefully it doesn't go too far. Yeah, that's fine. I'm kind of hoping we still pick up the birdie here. Okay, 122. Come on, wind. No. Come on. Oh, that's nice. That sets up for a lovely little birdie putt on the 18th. Oh, 
And we get it. Nice one. That is a cracking course by Palo. Beautiful course. Really, really enjoyed that. So that's TPC Louisiana 2020, guys. And don't forget, this version is the 2020 version you want to play. And if you want to play the tour version, make sure it's got fixed after it. Great course. Give it a play. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time. Stay safe.